Okay. All right, Jay, first Bassmaster Classic. What's the memory like? Oh, this? Yeah, this, this Classic, I'll never forget this one. Just because, for one, how tough the fishing was, I'll never forget that. Um, going around feeling like you're never going to get another bite, and then all of a sudden you catch one, and you're like, whoa, like I'm actually in the Bassmaster Classic trying to catch bass. Um, never forget that. Never forget the practice I had, all the family and support crew that I had here. And uh, never forget coming out of the tunnel for the first time. That was that was pretty wild. I was trying to take it all in, seeing everybody in the top rows and everything. So a top ten. I am speechless after this tournament and uh, excited to hopefully make it back for next year. So as a first timer, what's the first thought when those curtains open and you see the people? It's, I don't know, it's something that I've never experienced and I feel like a lot of people have never experienced, but it's almost like you're kind of like taken away for like a couple of seconds and you're like, there's this many people that actually care about like what I'm doing on the water today when it feels like, you know, you're just out there by yourself doing whatever, trying to catch a 15 inch bass and then you walk into 40,000 people. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, what was your program this week? My program was fishing isolated wood. I hit it multiple times during the day as the sun would warm it up. Um, I had like four or five key stretches that I'd catch my fish off of, and they would just continuously reload, and I was throwing a jig at them, uh, specifically a striking structure jig. And I did it all week. It's my confidence thing. I love to do it at home. And uh, yeah, that's how I fished them this week. Uh, what was the jig? It was a striking structure jig, 3 a ounce in blue craw paired with a menace trailer. It's my all around favorite jig. So, blue craw and water this dirty, you just figure they're gonna see what they yeah, need to see? I, I'm a firm believer in like green pumpkin and like blue craw, even though the water is dirty, I almost sometimes like to mash the water depending on uh, where I'm fishing or things like that. Something that stands out or is a little bit crazy for the fish, you know, might not get them to react the same. Something that's very natural to them um, seems to do well. I do the same thing at home in the river. Um, I try and mash the water color and it works out well there too. All right, so I asked you yesterday what your dad thinking about you as a classic contender and everything that went on last year. Yeah. What's going through your mind right now to have your parents here and to be able to watch your career flower? Yeah. yeah, it's very special to have everybody here, um, especially my dad, because he's watched me um, grow in just these short two years and make it to the Classic and now have this finish here. Um, I got a feeling he's he's probably pretty dang proud right now, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to letting us all sink in, getting home, and talking about it when we get home. So he's a champion himself. He's an angler of the year type of angler in the walleye tours. What was his biggest piece of advice for you starting this tournament? His biggest piece of advice for me was you're fishing against the fish, not the fisherman. Um, because a lot of guys, I feel like, can get caught up in all the hype of this tournament. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of people at the ramp in the morning, and you're constantly thinking, about like I need to catch a fish to bring on the stage so I don't zero blah blah but in reality you're fishing against the fish not the fisherman and that's that's what he told me every day before we went out um, and I believe that helped me and he's also been you know teaching me along the way too so this him telling me this was nothing new from him and uh, yeah he definitely taught me the mental side of the game okay so it's over everything's here what would classic contender finisher top 10 finisher Jay tell first timer Jay from four days ago yeah. what to expect uh, I would tell former Jay that was not fishing the classic yet and just practicing I would tell him to stay calm even though you didn't catch anything in practice doesn't mean you're not gonna catch anything in the tournament practice isn't the tournament and to do your confidence techniques because Generally, that you just do what you're good at because it's going to be a tough tournament, and everybody knew that. And going into it, uh, stick to your confidence baits, and you'll probably do well. So no regrets. No regrets. Thanks, brother. Yep.